morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. If this is your first time visiting me here, hello, welcome. My name is Sierra and I'm an American who lives in England and I share videos about my family's life here or whatever it is I'm very excited about on the days that I sit down to film. In today's video, as you guys can tell, I'm doing another Lush unboxing. Well, actually, it's partially an unboxing, partially an unbagging because I was able to pick up a couple of my items in my local store and then I had to order half of them online. So it took a little while for it to get to here, but everything I wanted to buy for this year is here and I'm very excited. So we're going to be talking about that in a minute. Um, if you haven't been around for a Lush video before, I just want to share once again that when there's a new collection that comes out, I don't buy every single item in the collection. I only buy the items that either I'm super excited about or items that I really want to try that I have never tried before. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first item I'm going to share with you today is actually probably my favorite item from their range that I'm most excited about and that is the Ticket for One Long Soak Bath Bomb. As you can see it is shaped like a little ticket so like it kind of is like a throwback to those days in elementary school when we used to make those like um, like coupon books for our moms, like, you know, free dishwasher unloading or like one free mopping floor or whatever. But this I think is really, really beautiful for one. And the smell is incredible. Actually, I did end up buying two of them because the little man wanted one because it's amazing and huge and beautiful. But I'm gonna give it a little smell and then we're gonna talk about it because just from here I can smell it and it is divine. So let's give it a little smell. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. So I don't remember what all the ingredients are, and so I pulled them up on my app. According to the Lush app, one long soak is scented with lemon myrtle oil, ylang ylang oil, grapefruit oil, and gardenia extract. And now that I've read that ingredient list, that makes sense why I love this product, because your girl has a thing for grapefruit and also lemon myrtle oil, which is both in here, but oh my gosh so delicious and i haven't obviously had a chance to try this last night although i was really tempted but if you can just see like with all the beautiful colors in here i think it'll probably be mostly blue i think that the top of it because of all the colors on the top are going to make some really beautiful bath art which i'm really excited about which that's the whole point of like a bath bomb right yeah the smell but like aren't y'all in it for the bath art and the pretty water just me? Okay. The next bath bomb that i picked up from the collection for 24 is the mother nature bath bomb which look how adorable and pretty this is from far away i think it kind of looks like a little frog but when you get closer you notice it's actually like a woman or like mother nature's face and she has a little flower in her hair, hair which makes it really unique and special they come at least in my store they came in both orange flowers and the yellow flower and because they're natural flowers they're all a little bit different so just like every mom is a little bit different so i think that makes it extra special but the smell of this is like the reason i am here because it is Again, amazing, so let's give it a little sniff. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Originally when I saw this product, I was hoping it would be like the old Lush Bath Bomb Forest scent, but it is not. According to the Lush app, Mother Nature is scented with rosewood oil, bergamot oil, yuling yuling oil, olive oil, and gardenia extract, which is exactly why it smells amazing to me because I love bergamot and gardenia, and those are like the main scents in here, but oh my gosh, you guys. It smells so good and it's so so pretty and I feel like even like if you don't use it it would just make like a really pretty decoration maybe we should put it like back here for the rest of the video moving on to the next bath product from the range that I grabbed for this year is the avo cuddle bubble bar actually that's a lie little man picked out the avo cuddle bubble bar because he loves avocados and he loves the scent and he loved that it was a little heart-shaped but as you can see it's super adorable and it is the same scent as all the avo bath things meaning it's mostly lemongrass so hmm smells so good I don't know something about the smell is like really nostalgic also it almost kind of smells like fruity pebbles which if you like Pretty Pebbles, that's a good thing. When I was a kid, I used to eat them. So I feel like that's kind of like a throwback to childhood, which I think is really special. All right, so now we're going to kind of change gears a little bit. We're going to switch to body slash like shower type products. And the first one I'm going to show you is a soap. And actually Lush came up with two soaps this year. We have the Sticky Syrup Soap, which I tried last year, which is amazing, by the way. If you can get your hands on some, amazing. They didn't have any in my store. Actually, they didn't have either one of the soaps in the store. So I had to order this one in line. But the one I picked up for this year is the Drop of Hope Soap which looks like this and it is amazing. You guys can't see but it's actually melting all over my fingers and it's very almost like spongy feeling. I think it's because it has a lot of oils in here. Well, it's not because I think, because it definitely has a lot of oils in it, but I'm gonna give it a smell and then put it down before it melts all over my fingers. But, oh my gosh, this smells so good. It kind of smells like walking into a garden and I mean that like in a good way. Like, you know how when you think like walking into a garden smells like mud? This doesn't. This smells like walking through like a flower garden where like all the florals are coming at you. 
Oh my gosh, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm gonna put that down so it can stop melting all over me. Actually, I'm kind of happy that it's melting because that means it's gonna be super moisturizing, but according to the Lush app, it is scented with Orange Flower Absolute, bergamot oil, and grapefruit oil. Since we're in the realm of delicious smelling body stuff, I'm gonna show you the next item, which actually I ended up getting a sample of because I have a lot of shower gels in my shower. I actually counted this morning for the purposes of this video, and I have 13 different shower gels in my shower, which to me says I don't need any more shower gels or like showery stuff, so everything else I picked up from the range is actually a sample size, just so I can give it a really good test and like, you know, make a decision before I commit. But the next item I'm gonna show you is the yummy custard which is a thick shower gel that comes in a black pot as I said mine is a sample because I have far too many but I can smell it already and it's not even out of the tin but as you can see it's a really thick um, shower cream and it smells like vanilla and deliciousness so let's just give it a smell oh my gosh this is amazing I didn't actually smell this in the store just because I know it had enough but I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this smells like something, not like a Lush product, I feel like I've smelled this before. Maybe it was like a like lip gloss or something that I had back in like the 90s, but hmm, I wonder if it goes well on lips. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, so Yummy Custard um, is designed again to be like a really rich shower gel. It says shower gel on it, but it's really more of like a shower cream and it's amazing smelling and it is scented with aloe vera gel which is not really a scent but if you have an aloe plant you definitely know that aloe vera has a smell but like in a good way as well as vanilla pod powder and guinea extract so the vanilla is probably why it smells like a lip gloss I used to have in the 90s but I'm really excited to try this I think this is gonna be one of those ones where you know I say oh I just want a sample and then I'm gonna go back to my store being like just give me the large one it's fine hush which if you work at my store you know that happens a lot okay moving on to the next item is the shower gel that came out for Mother's Day this year and it is called the snuggle shower gel it comes in like a classic shower gel bottle, not in a black pot but mine again is a sample and it looks like this it's very runny so it's gonna like spill everywhere as you guys can see but you know what in retrospect that's fine because at least now we can see what it looks like but as you can see it is very thin and it has the same scent as the butterball bath bomb which is like a vanilla cocoa butter scent which oh my gosh that smells so good I did speak to the people at my Lush store to ask them if it was exactly equally moisturizing as the bath bomb and they said it's not exactly the same but for a shower gel it's ultra moisturizing which I'm very excited about so I'm gonna try that this evening probably and then moving on to my last and final item in the haul which technically I don't think is a Mother's Day product this year but I really wanted to try it anyway um, because I haven't tried it before but I said I do a little sample for myself kind of as like you know a little Mother's Day present and it is the posh chocolate again shower cream it's like another thick one just like this and it smells just like chocolate yeah smells so good actually it smells almost like more like brownie batter to me than like classic chocolate but oh it's gonna be so good and again like it's really thick and probably really moisturizing which is amazing so yeah, with that being said, that's everything that I picked up from the Mother's Day collection of 2024, which again, saying 2024, mind-boggling. I think my favorite product in the range, I originally was going to choose the Long Soak Bath Bomb, but I think I'm actually going to have to go with the soap, Drop of Hope soap, because, I don't know, it just smells amazing, and I feel like I'm going to get a little bit more use out of that than I will a bath bomb, since, you know, I can use it multiple times. But anyways, that's everything I picked up for this year. I cannot wait to give all these products a really good go as soon as this video is over. So please let me know what you think of these products in the comment section, which ones are your favorites, which ones do you think are kind of blah, like and subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.